Okay, Pisces. Let's do your reading. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It is general, of course. Cannot, will not resonate for everyone. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. We're going to do kind of a, like a you versus them and on the subject of why there's no contact. It looks like somebody doesn't want to be honest about a new start, um, a new love offer, maybe something started and they were, I don't know, they don't want to, this is just pre-shuffle, but it looks like they don't want to be honest about what they're avoiding because they don't want to be honest about something new either this new start with you or something started with someone else i don't like that at all yeah they're just um it's almost like it's easier just to pisces it's easier just to hurt people or this is not somebody that is putting your your feelings in a high regard so I don't like it. Okay, so let's just see what comes out. We've got the world card. It's a cycle. So feeling like you may be repeating a cycle. Maybe there's a lesson that needs to be learned. You know, it's so strong. Like already, I feel like it's a lesson um, of knowing like when to fold them, when to walk away and stop like trying to juggle. I'm sure you guys are going to be clicking off right about now, but let's just see. Um, temperance. It's like a, it's, there's the no contact card. So it's like there's an imbalance. It's a back and forth. It's a, well, always wanting to give somebody the benefit of the doubt, you know. But here's, here's how you know that you, you know, here's how you know if you're on the right path or if you're supposed to be with this person. If you're having to abandon, and maybe we'll lay out some cards for a new, new love or we'll, you know, we're going to see if this person comes back. I already have a feeling they're going to, but I feel like you, um, are struggling with, you know, deciphering whether or not like maybe they have a good reason or maybe it's because of their childhood or whatever, but this is no contact, this four of swords on their side. And um, I don't know what this conflict card is. Looks like it could be competition. I'm kind of feeling like this person was hurt by someone and was trying to move on. And maybe that person came back, but um, if you are abandoning yourself and your needs, trying to make something fit, then that's your that's your indication. You don't want to, you don't want to get stuck there. Um, Nine of Swords. So it does look like this person is very conflicted. Ten of Wands. Yeah, there, it's, they, it does look like this person closed themselves off, but it doesn't look like it was as, like, non, like, it does look like it's getting to them, but, I mean, we, we got to worry about you, right? We got the Queen of Swords. I feel like there's a third party. There's another person that is controlling things here. Um, oops. Page of Swords, that's inquisitive energy. I think you have your answer. I think you know that this is something that needs to be let go of and not revisited unless they're going to come forward with an apology, with equal love, and not blow, oh, oh my gosh, not get away with breezing over why they did it and that it won't happen again. Okay, so that's this. Let's let's lay out some new love stuff. But look at this. Um, this is what you don't want to miss out on. And if you put up with this, then this is what you will miss out on. This person is probably never going to come back correct if they don't have to. Because it's not somebody that's just generous and caring for other people's feelings. They're, it looks like they're being controlled by someone else. Somebody else that's like been really sharp tongued with them also looks like you have um, kind of gotten into a cycle or a repetitive pattern of holding on to things that you shouldn't 
just because you know you're so sweet and caring but now is a really good time now is a really important time to stop talking negative things over yourself what you say will come true um, and really start to catch yourself with these you know ruminating thoughts about somebody that's not good to you you're literally strengthening pathways of being treated badly and it can rewire your brain and then throw you off to where you can't even tell is this normal is this my fault so if you're if you're having to abandon yourself for something then I think that's your answer but this is what is needs to happen with this person or this person to come back in your life needs to give a full-blown apology and explanation what happened why'd they ghost and not breeze over it and they need to go, come back give equal give and take but I think I really think Pisces once you get past this you're gonna be like oh what the heck I don't even want this person look at that I think that's an ace of pentacles look you've got something new and stable coming and that's what you need to be manifesting somebody who communicates let's see what this is this is all about seeing things clearly I'm not gonna go back to this I'm gonna turn around and open my life up for these two of cups that are coming this is in, in um, enlightenment and then you got two you got two aces so something stable and something passionate and look how they're facing that's like think of it this is you in the middle the hermit somebody who kind of shuts out all the noise in the head this back and forth benefit of the doubt nonsense and shuts all that out and then look what comes towards you from both directions but it's all about you know it's like once you get to that place of self-worth i'm gonna lay out a new love spread here in a second oh my gosh did y'all see that that was the fool look what's coming something new you freeing yourself something new and carefree and it looks like it's going to be worth celebrating look at this nine of uh, pentacles too tell me more about the fool Oops. oh my gosh so these i mean this might be too many to take but you got four of wands here king of wands so it could be some of these it's gonna be passion um I'm, I'm kind of feel like that is sort of like somebody that's going to be 100 focused on you and not dealing with others yeah look at that giving to you generous communicative i keep getting communicative because of that king of swords i'm feeling okay it could be somebody from your past but you've got somebody coming in oh looks like a reconciliation from somebody from your past but you you know what that might be what this is this i picked up on you know the spying this sword page of swords like somebody watching that hasn't let go so it could be somebody from the past but that's not really what your concern is your concern is freeing yourself and elevating yourself out of a pattern of like trying to make things work with someone um that you shouldn't be okay you've got some kind of love coming in and it could be it looks like a reconciliation or a second chance anything else and then we're gonna lay out a new spread there, look, truth, clarity, communication. Somebody's going to come in with some communication, and it's going to be open and honest. That's beautiful. Okay, let's lay out just a real quick new love spread. Tell me about new love. Or what's coming. What's coming for Pisces? And I would really like to get some advice. Not that we don't already have it, but Page of Pentacles. So some it's a it's a page that's communication, but it's something direct and stable. So um three of wands. What's coming for Pisces? High prices. Oh, maybe another Pisces. Oh. Five of Wands. Competition. Hmm. this is like really looking and feeling like you are going to have um, multiple people like pulling on you tugging on you or trying to balance oh my gosh I'm going to pull an oracle here in a second 
There's that King of Swords I kept feeling. Could be an air sign. I wonder if this is somebody from the past because I've gotten that five, the, well, this is five of pentacles. Somebody that wants to come in from the cold that hasn't let go. But there's, it looks like they're a very clear communicator. Tell me more. Ace of Pentacles again, King of Wands. Wow, it's going to come in fast and unexpected. I, I feel like you're going to get princess treatment. See that? But she, it starts with you. It starts with you. It raises your vibrations. It's so important right now. Stop, stop saying anything that's negative like, you know, or my memory, even if it's just little, like my memory is bad or things don't work out for me or anything negative. Catch yourself and turn it around. Speak positive things over yourself. Start walking the walk, talking the talk, and watch it come into fruition. You're going to elevate yourself and something amazing is going to come up and then you're going to be like, what the heck was I thinking? I feel like this has just been so, you're so sweet and so loyal and so kind that you've gotten kind of sucked into a benefit of the doubt thing and somebody is, this person in, that's, that's ghosted or gone no contact, I do think that they care, but they can know they can get away with it and they don't put your feelings um, in a high enough regard to protect them. And that's wrong. That's not who you want. This is not the person you're supposed to be with. Because you're having to abandon yourself for it. And they're just not a clear communicator. They're immature emotionally, verbally, you know. Let's get an oracle. I mean, but let's not feel sorry for you because you've got something. And three of cups keep showing up. So that's like celebration, friendships. Lean on your friends, maybe. What can we get for Pisces? message in a bottle. You're going to be getting communication. Oh, look, and there's community again. So the, you may meet this person through a friend, like a childhood friend or a friend from your past, because we have past energy, but we also have friendships and we also have, um, friendship community and we have a new love coming in. Take action. This is a really powerful time to take action. Thinker. Yeah, don't just think. I was feeling eights, too. Four and four is eight. Um, so, okay, this is so strong, you guys. Instead of, okay, you got to get yourself out of just the thinking and the take the action. This chop wood is about taking action. So fours and eights. Okay. So catch yourself when you're trying to ruminate, if you are going back to that and going over and over with what happened. The bad thing about ghosting is ghosting is so manipulatively cruel or emotionally damaging because our brain is going to keep, is going to try and, you know, fix the problem and we don't have the information that we need to know why. So it's going to start circling a loop and it's looking for you know, how to protect you for next time. So it's looking for why you got ghosted or what's hurting you. It's getting a, a pain signal. Your brain is getting a pain signal, just like it would physical pain. So in order to correct it and protect you, it's looking, searching, searching for information, which you've been deprived of. So it will eventually go inward. And then you start that cycle of what is wrong with me? What did I do? What did I say? You didn't do or say anything wrong. I think this person is cowardly and you don't want this. You might think you do, but part of that is just the game playing of rejection. Rejection makes us question ourselves. Okay. But remember, rejection is also God's protection. So when you catch yourself overthinking, Turn that around right away and put yourself into some sort of action. Grab a broom, sweep the floor, clean a drawer, call a friend. Lots of friendship energy here, okay? So you've got something amazing coming, so let's not be sad about this. This person is not worthy of your time or your energy or your love. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye, Pisces.